Hi guys, I'm Mary Me Terry Betty. It's Michelle Marie Tony, and it is uh well I honestly really don't know because I forgot to put my watch on. I think it's the fifteenth of January two thousand and eighteen. We have um some snow coming in the Connecticut area, um, for this weekend coming up. Which will probably not surprise some of you. Maybe might surprise some of you. I don't know. But I wanted to talk briefly um, about last night's show, and I think that um, Gloria said something that was kind of a very important thing uh, about one hour, one minute into the show, and she says about the, troll, the, the modern state of trollism, um, that they'll basically... My interpretation is they'll rip you in. They'll rip you a new asshole. The um, and that's part of the problem. Now everybody talks about the Discord trolls being a particularly their own breed of troll. I don't disagree with that at all. Here's the problem. Um, some people said, "Well, don't you screen your calls." I don't have a phone with caller ID. First of all, I don't even have the appropriate phone service from the phone company to make such a thing work. Hangouts does, but Hangouts has its own issues, which creates problems. So that's why Hangouts is not necessarily that good. Skype, I don't have a Skype phone number, and even if I did, I don't um, really like Skype that much. Okay. Um, I thought last night's show was well I have mixed feelings about last night's show I don't know how much time I'm going to have to talk about it because my battery in my phone is kind of yeah <laughs> I forgot to charge my power bank so unfortunately my power bank is not charged so I'm basically running off the phone battery which before I started the show was at 100%, so, or this video, actually 99. But, um, I wanted to try to explain a few things. Number one, the way they see it is, uh, originally they were trying to use my channel as a comedy channel. They were thinking that comedy routines would actually make my channel become popular well here's a question popular in what way if you watch my about video and if you watch and if you read the channel description it's not a comedy channel it was designed to be an educational spiritual technical channel that's what it was intended for also to cover news so in that case they were trying to modify my channel in such a way that make it into something it never was meant to be. You see, one of the things with me with Asperger's, I have to be honest, we take everything damn literally. We don't have any kind of, um, lack of a better term, filters. Because everything to us is literally. Like, if you say that person with Asperger's, um, go jump in the lake, we literally probably would jump in the lake. <laughs> That's just the way we are. Um, but it... That's just the way Asperger's are. We, Asperger's are. We do that. Literally, everything is literal. So, if every single show is people saying that, you know, you're this horrible person repeatedly. We literally believe it. We don't know why. We just do. And that's the reason why it was tearing me apart inside so much. I know some of the stuff was supposed to be for shits and giggles, but it really does make me feel... I don't know if they're being literal or if they're not. So, I mean, unless someone sits there and explains to me, here's what we're doing. We're only doing it because it's we think it's going to be fun for your channel. 
but my spirit says, no, it's not fun. Honestly, um, some of the stuff that I have been dragged through the mud with may have been fun for you, but it has been hell for me. I mean, I can give you a lot of examples. Actually, you can watch some of the live streams. You can see the examples everywhere. Um, oh, yeah, we did find out that the police was not real call. That was actually a joke. Okay. That was a joke. That was a... This is what I'm talking about when I say the shits and giggles. I'm just trying... I'm just trying this isn't my old phone. The old phone, my iPhone was better, easy to hold than this one. But anyway, that's... That's exactly what I'm talking about. You know, I say about shits and giggles. The... It makes it really hard... Now, on top of having Asperger's, of course, I have issues with my hearing, which is in part caused by my Asperger's. And it makes it harder, too. And the trolls know that. They know that. They actually are taking advantage of my disabilities. I'm talking about, I'm not talking about, some of them really do not know. Those who do not know probably have been told by their friends. And then, as I said, they're doing it for shits and giggles. And then that's the ones that, you know, it adds up. It, 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 it's kind of like like why your body has kidneys, right? When you get too many, too much cellular waste, your body has to dump it somewhere. If your kidneys didn't work, you have to go to dialysis or you're going to end up dead. Right? It's the same thing. Spiritually, I kind of needed my own time to dialysis my brain to chew through all the facts. Um, it doesn't affect my shows for because my schedule. I have two days off specifically for that purpose, so that I can actually play my music um, and relax and enjoy some things and some housework gets done. And um, there was a short little video that was on Wink Wink's channel, which I actually shared on Discord. I don't know if anybody watched that video. I hope you do. Um, it's only about two minutes long, and it talks a little bit about, about Asperger's and how our minds work. And a female commentator said a couple of very, very interesting things about people with Asperger's. And one of them is the way we can't handle certain type of stimuli without basically going crazy. And it's, it's just the nature of how our brains work. I don't quite get everything why it does that. It just does. And it's it's something that's the way we... So when, the point is, is that for some of us, the, the world is literal. It is literal. We, everything we do is literal. And it's not just like, okay... You know, like like I said, with the Jump in the Lake example. Now, imagine if you get nothing but negative, negative, negative talk. It starts to eat you. It starts to chew through you like an acid. It's like, oh, my God. And sometimes I like, I want to throw the computer through a fucking wall. Because it's like, I know some of you do are now watching the videos in the past, the ones I've created, the bleakcast, and they're good, and they're very important because they show some of my inside, my inner mind, the way I think. Um, so even though we now know who didn't, who fessed up, who made the joke, and it was a joke about the police, I'm going to be honest with you, I still don't know if I'm going to deal with the phones. Um, I definitely do not know if we're going to do with the Discord either. I mean, I'm talking about the live streams in Discord. Because that is really, really stressful. The, the live streams that we've been doing with just a chat has been fine. I welcome more people to be part of that stream. But please understand, I'm going to say this because some of you may not I, know I have to read through those streams. Yeah. And they take me a while. So, if you jump in the chat... And, you, and please don't be impatient. I'm going to try to read as many questions as I can, as fast as I can. I read them out loud originally so people would know that I'm reading your question. Um, and that's the reason I do that. So that when you hear me read your question out loud, you know I read your question. 
But as things get faster and faster, and they will, eventually my channel will be having streams where we're getting 20, 30, 40 people in chat. It's going to take me longer to get through them all. Um, and I'm going to be weeding out questions because obviously there are some questions that are extremely um, counterproductive to what we're discussing. So there is going to be some changes. And I do want to focus more on the B-Casts because the B-Casts and the blogs are good for me because they're simple. I can get to the point and stick with the point. And because on the live streams, they're high-paced. And so I can't always cover everything correctly in a live stream, but I can cover things in a B-Cast or a vlog. I can sit down, plan what I want to say, say it. Put it out there, and then you guys can watch it and comment. But we are going to continue with the live streams. But I just wanted to let you know that there's going to be some slight changes, that's all. Um, so anyway, we have a live stream today. We're going to continue talking about spirituality. And I'm going to continue on where me and our living industries are left off, which is politics in the paranormal. And that's not a play on words. Actually, is what we're talking about. Politics of the... Originally, I gave them a recommendation for the title. Politics of the Paranormal. And it's... And it sounds silly. Or the paranormal politics. Because you know what? So many these politicians, I swear to God, are from outer space. Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez comes to mind. What? Well... <laughs> She has totally no comprehension of reality. Really? Okay. Anyway, that's for later on at two. I'll talk to you then. Until that time, do me a favor. Um, I just wanted you to understand what's going on. And I don't want anyone to be mad or anything. If you were offended by what was said in yesterday's vlog, please understand that we didn't have... The Cruise Report show at the time that was after that vlog was done. Um, I don't know what the comments are on the Cruise Report show video yet. I haven't watched it. But um, I'll see you at 2 o'clock today. Until then, stay out of trouble, okay? Bye bye. Stay out of trouble. <laughs>